what's going on you guys welcome back to another video so i'm gonna make this short because i hadn't planned on coming back on today but when certain things come to mind i just feel a need to talk about it because i want y'all to know about this type of stuff you know but narcissists are not to be trusted when it comes to phone conversations and i talked about this a little while back if the narcissists talk bad about people to you they're talking bad about you to other people you know it it comes along with the the triangulation tactic that they use it comes along with smearing you and they also set up three-way calls to make themselves look innocent they need to make themselves look sincere they need to look like a caring and concerned friend you know so that people will have you know some type of proof that well they when they called you know like I'm going to put it to y'all like this because it, it's y'all know I have a hard time explaining myself sometimes. So I got a phone call not a little, a little while ago, not long ago. And this person who loves to make three-way calls and it always makes me cringe because I don't feel comfortable on three-way calls where people don't know that I'm on the phone because it gives me you know, it makes me feel like where well, you're invading someone's privacy. To me, that's invading people's privacy. She does this when she's on the phone with her own other friends or when she's on the phone with her family. And it's private conversations that should take place just between herself and them. I shouldn't have to hear this. So I would hang up. And she would always call me back and say, did you hear that? Why did you hang up? It's like she need... You know, like I say, the narcissists always need a witness, but it's like, you know, you, you've you already set the conversation up for them to respond a certain way. So that doesn't really lay the whole thing out. It's like they're giving half truth and it really doesn't matter because no one should call a person on three way without that person knowing that they're on three way because it's like a recorded conversation. And it's like, why are you calling me on three way? Like. They're just not to be trusted as a friend because a real friend, they don't put you on three way. That's a very snake thing to do. Um, what's the point of it all? So the narcissist, they know that they don't have no dirt on me. So the next thing that she had, you know, in mind to do was call with this fake concern that a old, you know, an old coworker of ours has passed away from COVID and I just wanted to let you know that she didn't have the vaccine and I know how you feel about it, but you really need to get it. First of all, that pissed me off. You have no business calling me on three-way with someone else on the phone knowing about how I feel about the shot. Like, why are you discussing that with other people? Which goes to show that that has already been a topic of conversation outside of this little sneaky three-way call. See, I'm not dumb. And my discernment is on a high level. My intuition always shows me things that I need to see. That gut feeling that tells you something shady about somebody, trust me and believe me, it's true. If they'll do it to other people, to you, they're doing it to you, to other people. They're not to be trusted. And I was like... That just came out of nowhere. Like, why would you call me acting like you're so concerned about me getting a shot, but you never talk about that when we're on the phone or when we're in person? That's why I say you can't fool me. I can read between conversations, your body language, your tone. Everything tells me what I need to know about your shadiness. And narcissists, you know, toxic people are just not to be trusted because it's like they're always trying to set you up to look a certain way you know that fits their narrative and they need to look like a, a caring and concerned friend like you don't care nothing about me in that shot you just wanted to get on that phone to expose something that's very private and no one that was nobody's business if I shared that information with you it should have stayed between me and you and stuff like that, you know, you just have to be careful with conversations you have with a narcissist over the phone. That's all I wanted to talk about. I was just, you know, nothing about the narc surprises me.